See, y'all don't get it. When I say it should have been G-Man that got killed and not Little Briss. Here's the secret to this shit. You see, Briss was a cool-ass nigga, man. Really not in that going back and forth with them niggas like that. They just had it on him. They was funking over, bitch. They was, Briss was fucking on one of them P nigga bitches. You see what I'm saying? That shit was lightweight. But let me tell you where it was heavyweight at. When G-Man was really disrespecting Murder Gang Jew and his family. Because, see, this is what really happened, y'all. I don't understand, see? Because y'all be watching all this internet beef. What happened in real life was, see, this bitch-ass nigga from 6ix9ine, Gene Big Homie, that never be, up, be showing up because he worked, but he caught Murder Gang Juju Mama at a barbershop. And beat her to death, beat her up, stomped her out. This nigga got hella strikes, got out for murdering the old park nigga. He stomped out they mama. He could've went, he been in, he, if, if she would've told, he would've went to jail for life. They mama kept it gangster. Murder gang Juju mama, that's P Funk daughter. See what I'm saying? These is all elite old park niggas. So murder gang Juju Mama gets stumped out. That's why they spit them six nine niggas blocks. That's why the funk was real. You think about it. You stump out a nigga mama, and she got some some niggas from the gang. Nigga, you niggas is already online funking and shit. If you look at the motherfucking footage, you see Gene over there, and they said, nigga, oh, all you gotta do is let us know it's really you really want that action. And he was like, yeah, I'm about that. Gene ain't busted the grave and did nothing, nigga. If you go look on the MetaView documentary, I was actually giving the twins credit for having a son that didn't get into the hood. They was he, they sent him to a college and shit. He got a college scholarship from Grant. Let me be clear. If you went to a, a high school, that's what hood you from. That's where your most important years was at, nigga. Plus, I know your dad, nigga, and I pulled up on him in the highest where you was at. You stayed at your granny because your mama wasn't doing too good. It's always been all bad. Your house always been a trap spot. Y'all always been bringing kids to the house to get them on drugs and get fucked by pedophiles. Nigga, why you playing with me, man? The devil, the devil is a motherfucking lie out here, y'all. So that's why I say, that's why we say, man, that's that nigga Gene who got them niggas killed. That's that nigga, that's that nigga G-Man who got that nigga caught up in all that shit. When them niggas linked up and did that video together and all that type of shit, you just basically saying you want the same funk this nigga got. But see, he be with his mama's hiding out and shit. He really not on the block. He not a block boy. See what I'm saying? That's what's weird about the whole situation. And the nigga, last time the nigga seen me, he talking about, oh, nigga, keep that energy. Bro, the last time I seen you, nigga, I, I, I told your uncle we could fade and he turned it down. He said he was trying to trip. He tried to trip on my side of the hood, nigga. And I said, hey, you niggas can't bring no energy around like that or I'm whooping all of y'all. None of your niggas stood up. Period, point blank, bro. And that's history, bro. You niggas getting mad because I'm speaking on facts, nigga. I'm going to tell you what it was. Why is you niggas trying to make niggas lie about what it is and what it is? What's, what, what's going on? Niggas got behind you and you brought death and destruction to the hood. Then you ran, nigga. And then you told, nigga. Y'all was on the stand and shit, bro. You went to Houston and disappeared and stopped rapping after you rapped and dissed them niggas who wasn't about getting dissed online because, nigga, they had something going on. They are just like your family is snakes and shit. Your uncle killed Mac Dre. Your uncle killed his own motherfucking tater bug, nigga. Them niggas over there, them P niggas, nigga, they elite, nigga. They about their life. That life that you ain't about because you wasn't getting back at them. So I'm surprised you on my page, little nigga. And your daddy ain't tell you who I'm. I'm the same nigga your daddy used to call when he was problem. See, that's the problem with me and you, nigga. You, you know, when shit come across my plate, nigga, we slide, nigga. When shit come across your plate, you ain't slid yet. You got somebody killed. That bullet's meant for you on the shit you was talking, nigga. You wasn't ready because you ain't built like that. You was trying to throw a party, nigga, and they spent your, came and spent your block in your bitch car, nigga. We know the facts. How many times you get your mama house shot up on welfare, nigga, where y'all selling dope at? Come on, we know all them OG, none of you niggas is in there. Because y'all sell dope in politic. See what I'm saying, bro? You better keep the fucking mouth shut when it come to me, nigga. You talking about you tired. Go tell them people, mommy, you tired then. That you got killed. Didn't them people have a wake for their son? The Mexicans have a wake for their son in front of front, that candle light in front of their son? And they said they going to get you back? You see what I'm saying? See see, see, see what's going on? Them same niggas that killed, your, that killed Briss 
turned around and killed your biggest top partner from your hood, nigga. And y'all still ain't did nothing yet. You back online talking about you back out here, then, nigga. Where you at? They looking for you, nigga. Does not anybody in SAC know you got the biggest price on your head? Hey, nigga, you see what I'm saying? I'm just dropping facts. You talking about, oh, keep that energy, nigga. Hey, bro, t I'm telling you, bro. Last time I seen you, nigga, it was up with your folks already. I already told them what it was. Now, imagine you only motherfucking half the size of them. Stop playing with me, man. You ain't never busted a grape or hit nobody or did nothing, nigga. You a football player who went to, who went to college on a scholarship when we was rocking out. Now you back and you the leader of the hood. This is why other hoods don't have fuck niggas. You got to have a dog in front, nigga, leading, 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 the, leading, the, leading the army. Fuck. So you put clowns up in the front, nigga, and, you, and your whole motherfucking structure collapse. Because these niggas ain't built like that. Who didn't know, nigga? I know your whole fam. So shut the fuck up talking to me about anything, nigga. I'm really like that. They really call me killer. They call, they call you G-Man. What is that? They G-Man used to be the name of the police, nigga. The feds. And you gonna get on my, my page after you call a fed case? You a rat, nigga. Anytime a nigga catch a fed case, there's a tail. That's just mob rules, nigga. You niggas try to come through and change the rules and shit. That's how you know these niggas is in with the police, nigga. Bitch, you just got on the stand. They just subpoenaed you. You was a victim in a crime, nigga. Murder gang Juju doing life, nigga, behind jail, behind your shit. Now you back online still talking shit like you won that war. You lost that war, nigga. You made us all look bad. And now you back out here, nigga? Let them niggas know where you at. <laughs> See, stop playing with me, nigga. You still got an answer for shit, and you trying to pass by these answers, nigga. Hey, bruh, all the shit you saying about me, bruh, yeah, I don't be in the hood no more, nigga. I own a million dollar house now, nigga. My business is elsewhere. That's the goal, to get about. Y'all niggas trying to trick niggas to come up in and shit, nigga, so you niggas can take from them and bleach off of them. Bitch, I'm not falling for that. <laughs> you feel me? Uh, where you come from? I'll tell niggas where you come from, nigga. You lived at your granny house, nigga, in the Heights. That's how you got to be and go to play play football for 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 the fucking Grand Pacers. You out there with them. That's why you online promoting that shit, nigga. You just basically came to our hood from another nigga hood, nigga, and motherfucking indoctrinated it with that bullshit. Like, like, like the colonists did in Africa. <laughs> this shit hella fake for your bullshit propaganda, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Your whole family ain't never had no whips like me, nigga. Your whole family ain't never did no shit like this, nigga. Shut up, nigga. You live with your mama. Stop playing like you a gangster. You a broke-ass nigga with, the, with your hand out to bitches. Come on now. Let's keep it real. You're a kid. See what I'm saying? And you leading the, the youth into some shit that you got yourself in, and now you need protection, so you want everybody else to fall in line and trip with these niggas that was really just tripping with you because you wanted these problems. Yeah. Yeah, Jaleesha got stomped out by a couch in a motherfucking barbershop. A female. They mama. They ain't say shit. What you think you nigga gonna do, though, if you beat up his mama? They gonna pull up on your block and start sticking shit. That nigga ain't out here that did it. They did the same thing couch did to them. They was they, The nigga that they was fucking with from Oak Park, they didn't get it. They shot an innocent nigga from Oak Park. And went to jail for it. So when them P niggas a generation later from the same bloodline, them same yo, yo mama was funking with the Burger Gang Juju mama was funking with them 6 9 niggas. Not with us. She got family from the hood. <laughs> Me and Jaleesha, cool. I'm cool with all the real gangsters, bro. That woman got more gangster in her than most you niggas. We should do a story all about her. She in jail right now for a murder. Bruh. These niggas' mamas, you got to compare Murder Gang Juju Mama to the hood rat twins. The twins tripping off niggas who ain't fucked in yet. They ain't fucked the most niggas in the hood. I did a video on how many niggas they fucked. We just trying to get a whole collection. It looks like you, from 6 9 you had to fuck the twins to be from the gang. From my side, you had to slide, bitch. So you can't say nothing about no nigga stats from my side. We all witnessed the same thing. We made it safe for everybody. And then you came to the heights and was like, oh, man. I'm, I'm from the mad you thing because everything was safe and cool now, nigga. We, what's wrong with turning your neighborhood into a suburb? What's wrong with, hey, being safe outside letting the kids grow up? James did. 
You 6'9 niggas back doty. James was slide for the hood, bro. He would have did anything for the hood. That's how you set him up. You niggas got mad because he was really real, really on top, really getting bigger than you niggas that want to extort niggas. Somebody said on my page, oh, this nigga Cody telling the truth. Nigga, and bam, jumped on the story. That's what he doing. Y'all hating. Y'all all got to be under the same thing. So some of y'all niggas, some of y'all niggas, ain't nothing wrong with y'all, but y'all, but nigga, y'all collateral damage now. Because you was in that meeting talking about killing niggas and shit. I'm the hardest nigga to kill out here. That's why niggas get, get fucked up out here. See what I'm saying? You're going to play with me, nigga, and we're going to end up, nigga, with you back on the stand talking about, oh, this nigga's a monster. That's what they be doing to real gangsters, nigga. Put you in a position to do something to their ass, and when you do it, nigga, they're going to the stand, you're going to jail for life, man. For real. They get to tell whoever what to do and talk the most shit because they ain't playing fair. You see Bam on there with the mayor, but then nigga behind closed doors and shit, nigga, he can't help but gangbang with niggas and shit and be in everybody's business. And he's supposed to be coaching the kids. This shit is insidious, nigga. Solomon Gamor. God ain't gonna respect that, nigga. Period, point blank. <laughs> I'm just saying. Just because you from the hood don't mean you gotta be evil, nigga. Just from the hood, nigga, don't mean you gotta get extorted or extort niggas, nigga. That's why niggas don't make it. How many niggas from the hood didn't make it because the pressure was told too thick? God damn, I gotta, these niggas is, they want me in the hood. They want me to do that. They want me to do this. I gotta psh, break my half off. You, all you niggas jumped in my whips. I ain't jumping you niggas' whips. You niggas is bitches. You niggas are jumping my whip and then be like, bro, leave your pistol. How do you broke ass niggas jumping? And then be pulling up at the club with me and ain't got no money on you. Come on, bro. Let me, let me keep it real with you. I'm out the streets because, nigga, I don't need the streets no more. See what I'm saying? It's no use to get out the streets. The whole goal is to get out them motherfuckers. Not use it or take control of it or not turn around and take the 